In this video, we'll cover the use of boundaries in power surfacing. We'll see how they are created, but more importantly, we'll see when and why to use them. So what are boundaries? They are an ID system, essentially material IDs. But in SOLIDWORKS, they play a crucial role in the conversion process by preserving targeted sub-D edges and defining persistent face groups. Let's start by looking at a couple of the power surfacing conversion options. With the normal conversion, the resulting CAD solution is optimized. You can see that it has been able to remove a good portion of the sub-D's edges. Now let's go back into edit mode and try the one-to-one -one NURBS conversion. This one, as you can see, retains all of the sub-D's edges. That's okay if your mesh is fairly simple, but ideally you will want to specify which edges must be kept. And to do that, we will be using the boundary tool. Defining a boundary is simple. You select the faces you want. I'll select these near the tail end. And from the power surfacing menu, select Specialized Tools, Boundary, and Define Boundary. Boundary edges are mint green colored, but the edge weight purple color takes precedence. So now I might decide I want the tail end of my nice organic model to be a separate material. We'll switch back to normal and convert. And you can see that those edges are retained on conversion. And I can add a different material to those surfaces. pretty straightforward. Now let's take a look at another use case. Let's try an offset surface and trim. I've prepared a little sketch, so let's select the front surface and create an offset. Insert, Surface, Offset, and now I'll trim it. Insert, Surface, Trim, and then add a thicken. Insert, boss, base, and thicken. Now we've got a nice little octagon protruding with the same surface topology. So let's edit the power body again and make a change in the sub D. I'll make an offset loop back near the tail And when it converts, we find that the face reassignment has left the trim broken. So what we really should have done is defined a couple of these faces for the widget's parent surface. Let's go ahead and do that. Back in edit mode, I select the faces I want to retain. And once again, Power Surfacing Menu, Specialized Tools, Boundary, Define Boundary. The second boundary gets a separate ID and will overwrite any pre-existing ID numbers on the selected faces. And let's convert. Rebuilding the features will probably be quicker than trying to reassign everything. Now I can make more drastic changes without losing the earlier features, so let's go ahead and edit the sub-D again. I'll go ahead and add an extrude and a fully weighted edge. And make a few more changes in the front.
And for those of you that think it's just counting faces from the right, we can do an insert loop back near the tail. And on convert, you can see that the boundaries have protected the widget. Note also that a few of the earlier edges are gone as the new configuration is optimized.